Hello everyone, this is Sanket Patel and uh, today we are going to take a session on a fast track course for a Oracle PLSQL training and this is my Zero to Hero series for the PLSQL programming. Uh, my target audience would be uh, uh, students uh, who are studying into the any of the IT or computer line or any other line also who wanted to learn PLSQL. Uh, beginners and uh, Java programmers or uh, .NET programmers who need to be work on a PLSQL side uh, for their daily duties and they uh, uh, they might work into the different database like MySQL or MSQL and now they shifted to the new programming environment where they need to work on Oracle PLSQL as well. So this is my quick course for, through which you guys can able to learn PLSQL basics and uh, PLSQL advanced level techniques also. Within my first topic, we are going to discuss on a basic syntax of PLSQL, uh, sample hello world program and uh, various programming units are available into PLSQL. So let's get start with our uh, basic program with for the hello world. To connect with the SQL instance, uh, I use Power Command. Uh, maybe programmers are used to and PLSQL developer uh, of provided by all round automation or SQL developer tool of Oracle itself. Today we are going to uh, work on a command prompt only and how to install any of the database for the students uh, and how to set up a TNS entries and username and password, uh, how to download the source of it, how to install it into the local system. Uh, give me uh, your comments whenever you require on my page on YouTube and I will supply you one video how to install the data, database uh, properly into your base system. Give me a comment or give me a subscription, subscribe on my channel. I will definitely share a wonderful, wonderful video for this. So uh, let's get started to connect SQL plus SQL plus username and password. In my case, MK is username and Patel is my password. To connect my XC database. So here we can able to connect XC database. XC uh, we can say like express addition and in short we, we call it XC. So to write down a sample hello world program we need to write down a set server output on. We uh, If we do this then we can able to capture the log, of, log over a console. Uh, as I'm assuming some of the, you or most of you are familiar with the C programming language where uh, we wanted to write down any uh, program we need to write down a main uh, method into it. So begin and add is similar like a main method for the PLSQL and within the uh, begin and end we can able to write down any of the executed commands so that would be our executable section. So this is the, our one of the executor command dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. This is kind of uh, uh, printf in a C, C programming language. Hello world uh, and and let's run this section by passing the forward slash. Here it is, we can able to prompt out our first output through PLSQL programming. Now let's discuss on a declaration section. I mean declaration section would be where we are going to declare variables like uh, which hold values uh, in a name form and those name variables are going to be used into later into the section into the executable commands or passing values to the another executable commands or program units. So here I write down a few examples for that only and uh, let's say within this example I, I initialize few variables like uh, to find out one area of uh, any of the circle which have a radius around 7 cm. Okay, so I what I have done is uh, I declare one radius variable by showing them okay this is a number type variable and I initialize value as a 7. I use pi 
uh, cons universal constant we know that okay uh, it has more than uh, two decimal places into it uh, but I restrict up to two decimal places for the pi variable that is also a number type and I also uh, in uh, declare area variable also where we are going to store some of the formula of area for the circle so this is our formula like area is equal to pi into radius into radius uh, in PLS curve we write down is equal to as a common is equal to not only the is equal to so this is the way uh, to write down any of the expression formula and what we are going to do is we are going to print out the dbms output by using dbms output dot put underscore line method this is our text which we are going to concat by using double pipeline uh, with our area okay so let's run this program uh, onto the command line and this is our area so this is what the declaration section would be where we are going to initialize and define some of the variables what we are going to use in our executable second sections now let's discuss on a exception part so let's say uh, in exception part if we do not catch any of the exception which may have some of the error into the logical manner then it will not complete your program and it will be a fail so let's say this is a incorrect arithmetic uh, formula out here uh, i'm taking one example of incorrect arithmetic formula where we know that we can't uh, divide any value through zero so here i declare variable a as a zero and variable b as a five both are the number type and variable c i will try to hold value of a b divided by a so that's not gonna happen let's run this it gives us an error and it it fails we can't we could not get a output like PLS well procedure successfully completed see we are getting errors okay and that error would be dv divisor is equal to zero so that's the reason and it, it shows us a line 7 having some issue okay, 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so let's say if you found 7 then go about that line above so that your error should be into the 6th line not into the 7th line so this is this is how compiler works so to catch this kind of exception and run our executable units properly what we are going to do we know that okay if that would that kind of exception gonna raise and we write down one exception block where we know that when zero divide like this when zero divide this is a supplied exception provided into QLSQL and we are going to discuss exception handling later on into the my later sessions also and we write down our custom custom message out there and complete this section message number cannot be divided by zero so this is how exception handling and we are going to discuss later on also into my next video sessions and some of the program units like uh, this is anonymous block what we discussed today there are functions been provided procedures been provided packages and package having the specification and body triggers out the uh, types out the type body out there these are the program units we are going to discuss in our later session Thanks guys, do subscribe on my channel to watch out my next videos and if you like my videos, do like on my video video page on my channel, do subscribe on my video channel uh, I'm turning off my video session for, for the this session 
and we will read into the next sessions thanks guys